हेलो गाइस वेलकम एंड वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल जेबीआर ऑनलाइन क्लासेस लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल सो हेलो एवरीवन नाउ इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट एक्सरसाइज 1D फ्रॉम द बुक ऑफ एस चंद पब्लिकेशन फॉर द प्रीवियस वन प्लीज चेक द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स द लिंक विल बी देयर सो हियर इन सम नंबर 1 फाइंड अ रैशनल नंबर बिटवीन ए एंड बी इफ हियर द फर्स्ट वन ए इज 1/6 and here b equal to 1 by 5 so whenever you want to find out the rational number between two numbers here's the formula that is a plus b by 2 so that means first here you have to find out the addition of 1 by 6 plus 1 by 5 then divide it by 2 that will be your required rational number so here 6 and 5 that means here 30 so it will be here 5 plus 6 by 2 That means here you can write down 11 by 30 by 2. That one equal to here 11 by 30 into 2, and your answer is 11 by 60. Okay, it's very easy. Now here total fourth sum. So here I'm going to solve the last one, the fourth one. Here a equal to minus 4 by 9, and b equal to here 11 by 6. I hope you can solve the second one and the third one. Okay, so as here first find out the addition. That means minus 4 by 9 plus 11 by 6, and then divide it by 2. So as here 9 and 6, so as here 9 and 6, so find out the LCM. 3 3 is a 9, 3 2 is a 6. So it's 18. Okay, 18 as LCM. So minus 2 into 4, it becomes here minus 8. Then here 6 3, that is 33 by 2. So that one equal to here. Write down 33 minus 20. Sorry, minus 8. That is 25. And here 18 into 2 that one equal to 36. So 20 by 25 by 36 is your answer. Now next one number two. Number two is very easy. Find two rational numbers between minus two and here two. Okay. So in between minus two and two, the two rational numbers are first one is zero and second one is one. Okay. Zero and one is your answer. Now next sum number three. Find three rational numbers between minus seven by two and minus two. So as here minus seven by two and second one is minus two, and you have to find out three rational number. So first multiply four with here numerator and denominator. Okay. So as here you have to find out three rational number. That's why here I multiply with four. If you want to find out four rational number, you have to multiply with five. So that will be here minus it's twenty uh, eight and twenty eight by eight and that's one equal to here minus eight by here four. Okay, so minus eight by four. So as the first one here, it's uh, if you write down if you divide this one as uh, with two, uh, so it become here minus fourteen by four. So that means here you can write down minus fourteen by four. And here it's minus eight by four. So as here minus fourteen by four and second one is minus eight by four. So here the required rational number you can write down this one as minus here thirteen by four or minus twelve by four or minus eleven by four or minus ten by four or minus nine by four. Any four you have to find out three rational numbers. So any three of them. Okay. Next one sum number four. Find four rational numbers between here minus one and second one here minus half. So first here you have to make the denominator will be same. So if you multiply with two, it becomes here minus two by two, and that one here minus half. Okay. Now the next thing here you have to find out five rational sorry four rational number. So that's why you have to multiply the first one with five up and down. So it will be here minus ten. By ten, and second one you have to multiply again with five up and down, so that one equal to here minus five by ten. Okay, so now here you have to find out four rational numbers in between of them. So here your answer minus six by ten, then here minus seven by ten, then here minus eight by ten, and minus nine by ten as your answer. Okay. Now next one, some number five. Find six rational number between minus one and zero. Okay, you have to find out six rational number. Remember that. So here you can write down any six rational number in between them. 
so first if you multiply this one with 7 so it becomes here 7 by 7 so that one equal to here minus 7 by 7 and that one equal to here it's 0 0 by 1 1 means here if you multiply with 7 so it becomes 0 by 7 so here the six rational number first one is minus 1 by 7 second one here minus 2 by 7 then here minus 3 by 7 minus 4 by 7 then here minus 5 by 7 and the last one here minus 6 by 7 okay it's very easy insert 10 rational numbers between minus half and here 7 by 8 so if you multiply it with 4 up and down so it's minus 4 by 8 okay multiply with 4 up and down both remember that so as here minus 4 by 8 here 7 by 8 now here you have to find out 10 rational number in between of them so here your answer it's minus 3 by 8 minus 2 by 8 minus 1 by 8 then here 0 by 8 1 by 8 2 by 8 3 by 8 4 by 8 5 by 8 and 6 by 8 sorry 6 by 8 that is your answer it's very easy now next one some number 7 insert 100 rational numbers between here minus 3 by 13 and next one here 9 by 13 so do one thing first multiply the first one with 10 up and down okay with 10 up and down so it will be here minus 30 by 130 second one also multiply 10 with up and down it's 90 by 130 now here your answer minus 29 by 130 then here minus 28 by 130 then here minus 27 by 130 in this way you can write down here minus 1 by 130 next one will be 0 after that 1 by 130 dot 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 2 by 130 in this way up to 70 by 130 so these are the total 100 rational numbers in between of these two number okay so here the next one some number 8 find 6 60 and 600 rational number in between minus 5 by 8 and here 3 by 8 so to find out 6 rational number it's very easy you can just write down the number here the next one is 4 by 8 then here minus 3 by 8 minus 2 by 8 okay minus 1 by 8 0 1 by 8 2 by 8 in this way okay and if you want to find out 60 rational numbers so do one thing first multiply 10 with up and down so 50 by 80 and that one will be here 30 by 80 now you can write down here minus 49 by 80 minus 48 by 80 in this way you can write down here also 0 then 1 by 80 then here 2 by 80 in this way up to 29 by 80 okay and the last one here 600 so do one thing multiply 100 okay multiply 100 so it will be here 500 by 800 and second one will be here 300 by 800 so now you can easily find out any number any 600 numbers so minus 499 by 100 then here minus 498 by 800 then dot 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 then here 0 here 1 by 800 then 2 by then 3 by up to here you can write down 100 by 800 clear okay now next one sum number 9 so this is the last sum for this video so guys if you like my video please please share this video and please subscribe my channel so here in 9 answer true or false between any two distinct integer there is always an integer it's false it's definitely false now next one number two between any two distinct rational number there is always a rational number yes it's true now the third one between any two distinct rational numbers there are infinitely many rational numbers yes true it's also 